a conciliatory phone call. New to the majors, this player is offered schooling on the structure of his contract. The agent moves on from that topic.
a stripling major leaguer is challenged to make spring training count. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Cincinnati Reds and the Cleveland Indians. Interleague baseball next. Ready now for Cincinnati. Aristides Aquino as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. On the ground to the left side. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. I know this guy isn't known for his hitting prowess, but that's a nice. Ready to go for the last half go. of the Ready inning. Go. And next will be a speed Don't threat in the go. form of outfielder Vaughn, Vaughn Harris. Harris. First offering on its way. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Winker has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. In now for the Reds, Lourdes Guriel. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Guriel. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Harris has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Vaughn Harris. Here comes the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Hey, let's go, big fella. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swung on, hit in the air, and deep. Got a chance, and go! Man, he got hurt. His second pitch since coming in, and he serves one up. A reliever's worst nightmare and a big confidence boost to the lineup. Let's see if he can rebound. Striding in, Jesse Winker comes into now this bat. at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Jesse Winker. Lifted down the line and left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Digging in and looking for more, Vaughn Harris. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. We all know this guy's a real good fastball. All right, here we go. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. See it, drive it. Let's go, kid. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Swung on. Hit in the air. And deep. Got a chance. And gone. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Digging in, Mike Moustakis for his career in this matchup. He's hitless in three at-bats. The one-two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. 
And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice range, and the side is retired. Starting to run out of innings here as they are unable to cut into the deficit. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. It's the Indians six and the Reds one. Six to one the final tally today. The Cleveland Indians used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. Brandon Kingman takes home the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Ready now, Vaughn Harris. And if you remember, he took home a Silver Slugger Award for AL Outfielders a year ago. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. The windup and the 0 1. Rip down the line. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw just does get him at first as he was really moving that time. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll bring up Hunter Dozier. The third baseman. Ground ball left side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. I mean, that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get him down 0 2. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. The second baseman, Whit Merrifield. Line drive base hit. Well, you know what? Good hitters. Digging in now for Kansas City, Hunter Dozier, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Hunter. This is hit high and deep out to left. Left fielder looking up. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the... Settling in now, Vaughn Harris. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Fouled off. Loriano leads off first with a pair yeah, of outs right, in the right, inning. Right, right. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. All right, come on now, one time. Let her fly. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Stung hey, into the gap right. in right center for what should be come extra on, dig, bases. Come on, go hard, go two, dig, dig, dig. Loriano isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate, and he is oh, in there great. with an RBI yeah, triple. Nice and right you can't there. count your chickens before they hatch. He was one strike away from getting out of this inning, but then he gives up that blast that brings the runner home for first, now and he's not out of the, the woods yet. Ryan 
McMahon. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. And the two one. Ball three. I'm seeing him aim the ball right now, and that's a trap you fall into as a pitcher when you're not as confident in your stuff as you should be. You've got to trust your stuff. Swung on and missed. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Fly ball right down the line and left, but this will land untouched. Ready with the payoff pitch. Liner toward right center. And that gets down as he can't get there in time. And the tying the run is into now. score from third. Ready for another chance? Vaughn Harris. The left fielder. First delivery Harris. to him on the way. Fouled away. Hey, get a good one up there, huh? Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. This is line to left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Now the payoff pitch home. This is hit Let's high in the, the air out toward left here. center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Striding into the box, Bo Naylor. Bo He's 0 for 2 thus far Naylor. in this one. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. 2-1 pitch is a knuckle curve taken for a called strike two. The 2-2. Two -two. Weak grounder back to the mound. Go, well, go, he go, thought slide, about slide. going for third, and now that runner's in no man's land out there. And he'll try yeah. to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry. And Your attention, please. In hitting to the Royals, number 18, Jake Bouchard. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that... Trying to pick things up where we left off. Vaughn Harris. He bats here with a double and a triple on his line in this one. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Looking up is the left fielder. To the track. To the wall. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. What a great piece of clutch hitting right there to give his boys the lead. Going to put a lot of pressure on the opposition after score with only six outs to go. So next to the plate for the Royals, Donovan Casey is working on a one for three thus far. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We've played eight full. The Indians lead it five to four. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four, the final score. The Tribe the came line through line late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the, the victory. Phil Maton is...
afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here. Now at the plate, Vaughn Harris. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Vaughn Harris. Hey, get a good one here right now. Here it comes. Swung on, hit in the air, and deep. Got a chance, and gone! A solo shot here to left. As the Indians continue to pull away, it's now four to nothing. Boy, not the way he'd like to start a game, right? First inning, you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. In now for Colorado, Tyler Nevin. As we move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bump. Two, two, and a two. base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Hey, right here, any time the leadoff hitter gets on in front of the pitcher, it puts the defense on notice. You're going to see the third baseman creeping in. You're going to see the first baseman crashing. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder, oh, David Dahl. 0 for oh, 1 here in the early going. David Dahl. That's lifted the other way out to left. Two, 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 two. Harris is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. At the plate, Vaughn Harris. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store Harris. for us here. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. Dick, we Dick, heard that Dick, he Dick. has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. So striding in, Kyle Freeland, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Soft liner to the left side. And the tying run is into score from third. It's a 4-4 game. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Hit in the air out to left field. Harris is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Ready for another shot now. Vaughn Harris he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Now the pitch. And it's fouled away. The windup and the 0-1. Swung on, hit in the air, and deep. Got a chance, and gone! Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Bottom of the inning now. And next to hit is the catcher, Dom Nunez. The catcher. Yeah. On, he pops it up. And that'll get down for a base hit. So that puts the Rockies' leadoff hitter aboard to start the inning. Hey, another leadoff knock right there. This game has been full of offense, full of traffic on the base pass. Let's see who's going to get that big double in the gap to clear. Bradley Zimmer will come on to pinch hit here. 9-7, to seven, the final score in this ball game. Cleveland crossed the plate three times in the eighth, helping propel them to the win. The final line score for this afternoon.
afternoon base. Digging in, Vaughn Harris. Yeah, and if you remember, he took home here. a Silver Slugger Whoa. Award for AL Outfielders Harris. a year ago. Hey, get a good one. First get pitch coming, here it is. And that's by him, it's 0-1. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Pham is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring in the catcher, Francisco Mejia. The one-two. In the air out to left. Harris is in his tracks now. And there's the second out of the inning. Stepping into the box, the Vaughn Harris. One. He flew out in his Whoa. last at bat. Almost, hey, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this okay, AB. Swing and a line drive. But this is right foul near, near the seats. Hey, let it fly. Let it fly right here. And he might get them all home as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he will touch them all on the grand slam as the Indians have now opened up a 5-0 lead. Yeah, you've heard the saying, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well... That was the case here. Bases loaded, facing the best power hitter in the lineup, and he showed why. So digging in now, Vaughn Harris. He's already got four RBIs in this one. Now the pitch. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And it's gone as they add still another. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Next to the plate for the Padres, Trent Grisham. The center fielder. Now Number the payoff two. pitch home. Trent. Hit high and Trent. deep to left field. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Harris is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. A hit in two tries so far. DJ. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Harris is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Steven Piscotti will look to provide a little two out thunder off the. 7-1 to one the final today. Cleveland led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Greenland.